I um, imagine there's some people that would like to speak. So what I'm going to ask you to do is if you would like to speak, please raise your hand. I'll acknowledge you. Come on up to the podium, state your name and address. And um, is there anyone that would like to speak, like to start? Nobody? Going once, going twice? Okay, seeing none, I'm gonna ask for board comments. Sean, could you start please with a board comment? Sure, um, you know, the reason why we're here tonight is that this was a very long process that we've all had to endure. Um, but I feel that the members of this, this Board of Education have made the right decision for the best interests of the students of this school district, the administration of this school district, and the community as a whole. Um, this was not an easy thing to go through, especially as a newly elected board member, but we've thought this uh, through, and I believe we've made a sound decision. So, that's it. Thank you, Mr. Giordano. Mrs. McAvoy? I, I agree, this was not an easy task. However, there was absolutely no choice to us. Um, the four of us that were eligible to vote, there was absolutely no choice. There was a contract. We honor the contract by law. That's what we do. And if we did not honor the contract, it would cost the taxpayers over three quarters of a million dollars. And that was not a choice to us. So we're looking forward to moving along positively, professionally, and um, continuing on with the good works of the district. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Carney? Thank you, Mrs. Downey. First, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight. Um, your attendance shows you care a great deal about the Lacey District. And I thank you again for giving up the time to come out. And uh, thanks for caring, most of all. This is a time, this is a time for us as a school district to move forward, moving forward with established goals and creating new goals uh, with the best uh, education opportunity possible. I'd like to welcome Dr. Brower back and wish her luck. And I'd also like to thank Dr. Clark, Jackie Winuska, Joan Donahue, and Lisa Mealham for uh, their role in the last few months. So thanks, Mr. Downey. Thank you, Mr. Carney. Um, Mr. Schubiger. Thank you, President Downing. Oh, that way, sorry. Um, first and foremost, um, the state of New Jersey is telling me that I have to abstain on this vote tonight. And the reason for that is that my wife is a kindergarten teacher. I'm not happy about that. I'm very happy and proud that my wife is a kindergarten teacher. I'm not happy that I'm not able to vote because I think my vote is pretty important. And, and anyone who's been to these meetings or watched maybe on TV, <coughs> excuse me, I hope realize that when I have something to say, I say it. So, I do have a few comments tonight. I think um, Lacey's a very unique community. Uh, I've been here most of my life. I, I think we're a um, pretty, pretty funny group of people, pretty good group of people. We, uh, we care, we talk, we, st we stand up for ourselves, we work hard, we're a pretty tough group, and we also care about education, we care about children. That's what I've seen. And a couple other things that I think are very important to this community. That's trust and respect. It's very important to me. And I think that when it comes to trust and respect, as far as this Board of Education and administration goes, it starts and ends with the Office of Superintendent. So I can only hope that tonight, my colleagues here who, who will be voting on this matter, remember that. Because trust and respect is what makes our district go. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Schubiger. Mr. Martinak? I'm going to abstain from commenting at this point in the proceedings. Thank you. Okay, Vice President uh, Terrell? Thank you. Um, I'm so happy that everybody's here tonight. I wish we had this kind of turnout every board meeting. Um, I know that, I assume everybody knows why they're here. Um, you know that people have been asking since the indictment has been dropped against Dr. Brower. How were we going to move forward? Unfortunately, we had to wait a little bit of time because the prosecutor's office in Monmouth County, though they had a press conference about it, were not exactly forthcoming 
and it took us a while to get the information we needed. Um, we did have a committee, because there's only four of us, unfortunately, on this board that can, by law, by state law, that can deal with these types of matters. And in this case, deal with anything having to do with the superintendent's office. So after we received the information, we had a subcommittee. Excuse me, personnel in the superintendent's office. Yes, thank you, thank you. Um, but I was just speaking to this issue. Mm -hmm. um, so in regard to our subcommittee, they gathered information. They had an opportunity to meet with Dr. Brower. They had an opportunity to meet with our board attorney, Art Stein. Um, all, there are no criminal charges against Dr. Brower. Um, Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office um, went back to the grand jury and asked them to no bill. And the reason I understand how that works is because that's what I did. I was an assistant prosecutor for Ocean County for six years. Three of those years, I was a grand jury prosecutor. And I understand how it works. And if anybody wants to talk to me about it or has questions about the process after, I'm available to discuss it. Um, and as Art Stein had expressed to the press, and I know if anybody saw the um, patch article, it's been running time and time again, he explained the process. Um, he stated that in the case of Dr. Prower, if she was cleared of any wrongdoing, then she would have the right to return to Lacey District. And that's what we're doing. Um, I have to tell you, we have a wonderful district because during this tumultuous time that was imposed upon us by Monmouth County, our people stood up and they moved forward. Dr. Clark was right there the next day to pick up and move forward and not to let anything drop by the wayside. She was a great asset. She was, she is a great asset. She continues to be a great asset to our district as are all the, all the other personnel that stepped up and filled in during this time. And actually it was the whole administrative body, not just the ones who are in acting positions, but all our principals and district-wide supervisors helped and supported Dr. Clark, and more importantly, helped and supported our staff, and most importantly, our students, because that's why we're here. We're here for the students. So with all of that being said, that's why we are here tonight, and we are here to take a vote on reinstating um, Dr. Cl um, Dr. Brower and allowing her to come back to work as she has every right to do. Um, so, and I'm available if anybody would like to speak with me after if they have any specific questions. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Torella. And I too have to abstain um, due to the law, but I do want to say that I hope that this district can move on it's going to take time to heal the wounds that we've experienced in the last year and a half, two years. It's going to take time and a lot of um, cooperation and teamwork. And I just hope that we can move on and keep Lacey where it is, at the top of Ocean County. So I just hope that we can all work together for, with that. I want to thank Dr. Clark as well. She has been amazing stepping in when times were difficult taking this district and moving it on where it should be. Um, excellent, wonderful job, so thank you on behalf of all of us for what you've done. And I, I, you can, the people here attest to that fact that they, Good people. you mean a lot to them. Thank you. I also want to thank Mrs. Renuska and Joni Donahue and Lisa Melheim for stepping in also, changing positions, working it out so that um, things would work and move on the way they should. Um, thank you for coming. And we are going to take a vote unless Mr. Savage, Mr. Stein, would you like to say anything? Any, so we could open it up to the public again if anyone would like to speak. Seeing none, okay, I'm going to read the motion. Yeah. Okay. I need a motion to restore Dr. Sandra Brower. Sandra D. Brower to full duties as superintendent of schools with a return to work on Tuesday, February 25th, 2014. Move. Second. 
Roll call, please. Mr. Giordano. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Mr. Martinak. Abstain. Mr. Schubiger. Abstain. Mr. Carney. Yes. Mrs. Torello. Yes. Mrs. Downey. By law, I have to abstain. Could I have a motion that additional duty stipends for Jacqueline Renuska and Joan, Joan Donahue for additional duties assigned by the acting superintendent and for Lisa Milheim as temporary elementary supervisor intern are terminated with the last day of payment being February 24th, 2014 and that Jacqueline Renuska is returned to her full-time duty as principal of Cedar Creek Elementary School Joan Donahue is returned to her full-time duty as supervisor, Cedar Creek Elementary School, and Lisa Melheim is returned to her full duty as a teacher, Cedar Creek Elementary School, effective immediately. Could I have a motion, please? I move that. Second. Roll call, please. Mr. Giordano. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Mr. Marnack. Yes. Mr. Schubert. Yes. Mr. Carney. Yes. Mrs. Torello. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes. But I have a meeting, uh, motion, I'm sorry, for adjournment. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned.